Hi, so in video 1219 we made a kind of swinging arm generator and there was loads of really useful comments and interesting ideas and if you want to know who to blame for this one it's actually Timothy Gorman. Timothy made this suggestion about how you could turn it into a kind of a twirling baton for night light show and it just caught my imagination. I'm sure such things exist and I'm also sure that they run on batteries. So the idea of having a battery-less kind of green last forever Something you can do with it that would just be quite fun really just got me, so I thought I'd give that a go. Now, the issue here, obviously, is running the wires up to a light, because sticking a light on the end and running up some wires, bleh, piece of cake, but the thing's twirling. So if we stick a lot of wires in there, then all that's going to happen is it's going to wrap around and snap. Interestingly enough, however, and this has done a lot on cars, is that the return path is very often through the body of the material. So here's the bar, I've taken it apart. This is the thread end where the ball went and this is attached to the generator. This can be used as the return, the neutral, the um, negative, if you like. And we could also use that if we can insulate it. So right at the end there, I've put some heat shrink. I've put enough heat shrink on there so I can jam on a 5mm bearing. So that bearing goes in there. And if I stick a bit of wire in there, we should be able to get that bearing to contact on the wire and get electrical contact through the bearing. So let's stick some wire on there. OK, so there it is. I've jammed that roller bearing over a bit of bare wire. And the idea is that the outside of that roller bearing should act as a slip ring. So if we jam another wire on the outside, then we'll be able to turn it and yet keep contact and I've taken it up to the end here so if I connect an LED to that connect the earth negative to the bar then when we touch this outside of the ring that LED right there should light up a little bit we get our LED lighting so that is acting as a slip ring which is kind of cool so now we can connect this all back up and stick the LED on the end. Wire that in place and we can quickly check it. Yep, there we go, working nicely. Now we can put it back onto the generator. Okay, now it's actually continuous all the way through. So if I attach the um, negative to the case, then that will give me a path through the brass and all the way up to here. And then if I attach the positive, to the wire that we clamped on the outside of the ball bearing that will act as a slip ring and then we can give it a spin and we should get some generation out of it so i'm going to turn the light off so we get a better view <laughs> that is awesome Okay, so I, stopped, I swapped the bulb actually for the strip because I thought it'd get a better light show. But it works a treat. All you have to do is wire up the negative or the positive to the case, connect it to there, it gets all the way to the end, and then lay a single wire. And using this um, bearing as a slip ring, then it's kind of easy to be able to do something like that. And it really gave a nice light. Now, I don't think you see it so well with all the lights on, but in that room, it really lit up the room. Anyway, thank you very much for that suggestion. I found it huge fun making it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.